Financial news networks and publications are warning that there's an inverted yield curve. This, economists say, is an indication of an oncoming recession. However, the Trump administration seems to disagree. The White House trade advisor Peter Navarro dismissed the news, saying in an interview on Sunday with CNN that the short-lived inversion last week really didn't count. Technically, we did not have a, a yield curve inversion. That, a, an inverted yield curve requires a big spread between the short and the long end. What As we had is a smaller a, one. Correct. Well, all we've had is a flat yield curve. Well, it, it was inverted for no, a little that, bit. That, that's not technically an inversion. It, it's a flat curve, which is a very weak signal of any possibility. The truth is, is that there is an inverted yield curve. Now, for us to understand why this is so serious, we must first understand what an inverted yield curve is. This graph shows the term structure slope, which is measured by the spread between the yields on 10 and two year US Treasury securities. Those shaded areas indicate periods of recession. You will notice that the yield curve slope goes into the negative right before recession since the 1970s. That dip into the negative is what is known as an inversion of the yield curve. What's happening is the short maturity interest rates exceed long maturity rates. This is typically associated with a recession in the near future. This graph shows the fitted probability that a recession will occur over the next year when the explanatory variable is the 10 to 2 year yield curve spread. The fitted probability peaks before the beginning of each recession with the exception of an anomaly in the mid 1960s. Well, this is good at empirically predicting when a recession will occur, it gives no indication as to why it is true. There seems to be no consensus among experts as to whether or not that slope in the curve contains the information necessary to determine current and expected future monetary policy actions. Academic studies have often used the difference between the yield on the 10-year Treasury note, which reflects the long-term views of bond investors, and the three-month Treasury bill rate, which is a close substitute for the federal funds rate targeted by the Federal Reserve's policy-making body, the Federal Open Market Committee. Now to return to our news story. In contrast to the Trump administration, economic experts are saying that the size of the spread is less important than the macroeconomic signal that it sends about investor sentiment. To say that the inversion didn't happen at all because there was a significant spread is wrong. The reason the actual degree of the spread is secondary at best is because the inversion itself speaks to the investing public's opinion on fixed income. In other words, it's a very self-fulfilling prophecy. It looks bad because they think it looks bad and it becomes bad because they thought it would. It's a very weird contradiction that's almost dialectical in a way. But you could sum it up very quickly. You could uh, TLDR, capitalism is dumb. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.